we believed that he was going to get better. I got Oreo when I was 12 years old, when um, he was not paralyzed. We let him like hop around the garden. He would like eat the carrot tops and like sniff the herbs. And then we had this little pepper bush in the garden and we were like super paranoid about him eating the peppers. And they're like the really small chili ones that are super spicy. Oh yeah. He's always really, really loved food. As he got older, he became very, um, very, very hypersexual. He also became really aggressive, especially my younger brother and my dad, and he bit them several times. <laughs> like the bites would break the skin, so it's not like the little nips that people think rabbits are capable of. A lot of websites I read really did recommend neutering rabbits. They said that it would expand their lifespan. So we took him to a clinic. We took him there in the morning and they said that it would be an all-day procedure. So they suggested we go home. I just felt like something was very wrong. And we saw Oreo. Um, he was very, very sleepy. He was a little wet. There was a little bit of like um, blood on his hind legs. And yeah, the hind legs felt very, very limp. He woke up from the anesthesia, he panicked, and he tried to um, kick his back legs and something, he like snapped something. Through the first couple of months of the disability, uh, we believed that he was going to get better. He was really, he was probably the best adapted of all of us. It was, it was like us humans trying to figure out how to take care of him. Go, Oreo, go, keep going. My dad built a very early prototype of the wheelchair that we have now. It was out of like, it was out of wood and he was really, really happy with that. It was like very evident to us that he was, he was happy with the way that things were. I still think he wishes that maybe he were, he were a bit more mobile. Mm -hmm. He started licking his legs a little bit. And over the few months, the licking got worse and worse and worse. And we're like, what's going on? One of my acupuncture said it sounded like anxiety. They did acupuncture and they, did so they showed us how to do physical therapies. So after the first appointment, I started a GoFundMe account we could have had had Oreo where he is now without that support. People will always put negative comments. There will always be people who believe that Oreo is paralyzed and that he should be euthanized. Come on, Oreo. You can do it. Come on, Oreo. It's, it's not really, I'm, I value your input, but it's not your decision to make. We are caring for him in the best way that he can, and that the best way is currently enough to keep him happy. Mm -hmm.